hello, 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 guys, gals, and non-binary pals, and welcome to a brand a new Planet Zoo live stream. <laughs> my name is Jens. I'm part of the community team here at Frontier, and it is my pleasure to be your host during this here live stream, where we're gonna be jumping into some more career mode, which is what I like to do when I'm uh, doing these live streams together with you. We've made it to, uh, I believe it is level, da, 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 um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, or well, one, one, two, three, four of the sort of non-tutorial ones. But uh, yeah, that is what we are gonna be doing today. Unfortunately, Anne Talon is feeling a little bit under the weather, which is why I am subbing in for them. But of course, Anne if you're listening, we hope you feel better soon and uh, all the love from us here in, uh, here in the community team and of course from the folks over in chat. And uh, speaking of chat, let's take a look at who we have with us today. We've got Heather G, of course, from the mod team. I also saw Osric in there as well. Heather's saying that's a mighty big panda red tail. It is! And I, I've, met, I've had the fortune of meeting some red pandas. They're very, very cute. Big, bushy, lovely tails. So if you ever have the chance to meet a red panda, I say do it. Because it will be an experience that you will never, ever forget. Who else we got? We've got Carmel, uh, Carmel Girl here. Uh, Lydia, of course, from the uh, CM team. We've got uh, da, 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 Bethany Audion saying cute red panda. Thank you very much. We have got, uh, let's see who else we've got. We've got Jens, a game player. Shout out to a fellow Jens. We have uh, Eben, of course. Shout out to Eben. Brandon Kruger, Vivi Neytiri, and uh, many, many other, other lovely, lovely people. It's very, very nice to have you all here. Now, before we went live, I did see some, well, when, as I went live, before, the, before I came on, uh, I did see some questions in chat about uh, Twitch drops and all that stuff and uh, Twitch drops for Elite Dangerous happens only during Elite Dangerous streams and Elite Dangerous streams happen every two weeks. This week is one of their off weeks uh, since they streamed last week. So next week you'll be able to tune into an Elite Dangerous stream to get those sweet, sweet drops. But today, well right now, today at uh, 5 p.m. GMT on a Tuesday, we are playing Planet Zoo. And uh, that's what we're doing. And since we're playing Planet Zoo, unfortunately, you won't be able to get elite drops. So, but I hope you'll stick with us because Planet Zoo, a really, really cool game. And, uh, you know, maybe you'll discover a new favorite if you're uh, interested in, uh, in uh, those kinds of, of games. Let's see who else uh, we may have got here in chat. Uh, DJ Wave saying, I'm here. What's up, DJ Wave? How's it going? And uh, of course, if you are following us over on uh, YouTube, if you're watching this over, no, if you're watching this over on Twitch, I am flipped around for some reason. That is, hmm. Let's see if I can do this properly this time. Uh, let's see. I do this and I click this button. Nope, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Upside down again. Uh, let's see. Uh, I click the. Yes, there we go. See, this is confusing. In, in OBS, the software we use for streaming, it says flip horizontal. And when it says flip horizontal, I think, oh, that means it's gonna go this. But it actually means, th th no, yeah, yes. It says flip vertical, which means on the that axis where it's vertical is horizontal is that axis. Anyway, uh, no, I'm not gonna be upside down all the stream. That would be very confusing for a lot of people, I think. <laughs> But uh, yeah, also I was going to say, if you're watching the stream and you want to see your name pop up in uh, this top right corner right here, then uh, give us a follow over on uh, Twitch, which has been done by the following people before the stream started. Kawa124, Sufficient Cowbell, Noam C, Lauren Mendy, Dreadnought13, Paul Stapley, uh, Ag uh, Agrorosa, Agrorosa, yeps. Uh, Tornasuku, OKR Play, and Rimdridaren, which means the Space Knight in Swedish. Shout out to uh, everyone from Sweden out there, if you're following us. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, Will J. Kran says, it must be really cool streaming for Frontier. It is. I think it's a lot of fun. And uh, especially when I get to play 
a really fun game and when I get to hang out with some really cool people. If, uh, if you're in chat and you play a lot of Planet Zoo, give us a shout. If you would like to just hang around. Ah, there we go. Lady Zemon has joined the Frontier fam. Welcome. Uh, but yeah, if you play a lot of Planet Zoo, give us a shout in chat. If you'd rather just hang out and lurk, that's more than fine too. You are absolutely 100% welcome here. If you... Uh, <laughs> Razor of Hell, thank you for joining us. If you want to tell us your favorite animal in, in Planet Zoo or just favorite animal in general, give us a shout over in the chat. Otter Pup has no regrets, indeed. Uh, so yeah, feel free to do that. And uh, feel free to, you know, just hang out, chat, have a good time. And uh, tell me about your weekend. It's Tuesday. How was your weekend? Hope you had a good one. Okay, enough talk from me. I'm going to hopefully press the correct button on this thing. And that should take us to the game. Yes, I did press the right button. And I'm still flipped for some reason. All right, let's see if I can do this properly this time. Yes, correctly. I did it correctly. So because now it says my name correctly and it says Frontier correctly right here. Woo, high five. Uh, obviously, the best animal is indeed the otter, says Osric. Red Fox, says uh, Lady uh, Zemon. Uh, do love otters. Uh, so yeah, this stream is chaos. No, 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 we're getting back on track. So, as I said before, I am uh, heading into the career mode. And uh, hmm, why is there no game audio? That's strange. Can you please let me know if you can hear the game sound? If not, then I... Ah, there we go. Wonderful. Fixed it, just by clicking a button. Are there drops for the stream? No, unfortunately not. You'll have to tune in when there are Elite Dangerous streams to be able to, uh, join, uh, to be able to join for those. All right, so we are jumping into the next level of Planet Zoo because uh, we've uh, we reached silver stars on squeezing the margins on Myers Lake Island Zoo. I jumped back in to just check what I had left. I just had some research levels that I needed to do and some other things. So I'll get to that uh, in my off time. Uh, Great Caldera Park was this close to getting the um, getting the, uh, the the gold star there, but I think we're just gonna move on to the next one to see uh, to see what's happening over there. And probably gonna set the rest of these. To, uh, this has been medium, medium, medium. Kind of want to set this to easy just to make life easy for myself, so I'm going to set it to easy. So uh, where we're at in the story, uh, unfortunately, the uh, wonderful Bernard Goodwin has disappeared and been declared dead. That's what's what's happening. So uh, Mr. Myers, uh, Dominic Myers, has taken over his zoo business and is uh, running it eh, not as well as Bernie Goodwin did. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we're jumping into the next part of that story. Armar in chat saying, hi, Jens. I'm on my class break. Thanks for the new update. That's right. If you missed it earlier today, we uh, put out a new update for Planet Zoo. And uh, patch notes for that should be on the forums and on Steam and on our Planet Zoo social channels. So uh, find them there and read up what we have changed for this one. Don't worry about the gold stars. Your streams will always get a gold star from us. Eben. You big softy. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. All right. Myers Animal Entertainment Park. Myers Animal Entertainment Park is Dominic's attempt to turn around his image in India by repurposing a casino he'd previously built. A casino which was tacky even by the impressive standards of casinos. As a result, this hastily flung together zoo has more serious issues than a complete set of very important news. And it's up to you to fix them all. So let's go. Heather, of course, being right there with the links in chat, right there with the link to the latest update. And uh, yeah, I mean, speediest, uh, speediest moderator award goes to none other than Heather G. Love you. All right, while this loads, I'm gonna have a drink of water. Important to hydrate, make sure you hydrate, chat. I'm on a tear today, even, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the compliments when I get them. There we go. Mistress of Lynx. Ah, Mistress of Lynx. That's a very good title, Osric, that we can give to Heather. Hereby dub thee the, the Mistress of Lynx. Yeah, give some applause in chat for Heather G if you're uh, hanging out with us. 
Uh, I see there was, a, there was a message from Eden up there earlier. Da -da -da. We came as good. My Tuesday was the best. I got a brand new Bionicle. Ooh, interesting. All right, here we go. Myers Entertainment Parks. Commander Rusty Boots. Thank you for following us and joining the Frontier Fam. Yay! Apparently, building a casino so it looks like a temple is in poor taste. Who knew? Well, I had workers converting the casino grounds into a zoo, but they've not done a brilliant job. Well, keep having power outages which turn our electric fences into regular fences. Mm -hmm. escape, people scream, blah, blah, blah. That sounds like <laughs> sounds like another game I'm working on. <laughs> oh, nice. Get some tigers. Sure. Just yeah. She says, I love this map. Oh, wow. There's a lot. All right. There's a lot to do here. <laughs> I mean, I got it like always. Okay. If you have, okay. If you have bears in your sofa, call someone. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's pause this so we see what we need to do here. Uh, okay, reach 90% cleanliness for all habitat lakes, adopt and place five Indian elephants, and earn a yearly shop profit of $11,000. Good luck with that. <laughs> Who has bears in their sofa? Well, if you're very rich, apparently you have bears in your sofa. But yeah, this, this is a cool looking map. This looks I'm absolutely amazing. And I gotta say, huge shout out to the dev team for making maps that really give you a sense of how like uh, how much you can do with the game, how much you can just make everything in the game really pop and the things you can do with it. I mean, look at this stuff. Personally, I don't think I would ever be able to build something like this, but it looks absolutely incredible. Oh yeah. Is this like Fortnite? No, it is absolutely not. It is a uh, zoo builder, so completely unlike that. But uh, thank you for asking, Star Wars K. Okay? All right, so we need habitat cleanliness to go up. Mm, high amounts of litter. Yep, I can see that. And Gariel habitat is at a health risk. Okay, so I think then, first thing that we, yeah, let's check out habitat cleanliness. So this is dirty, this is dirty, all the water needs needs a clean essentially okay well i know how to solve that first we need to so please excuse me i might be a little bit rusty because i realized that the last time i played uh the planet zoo career mode is in october i want to say probably sometime in october so i might be a little bit rusty in remembering where everything is but I should be able to get my feet uh, feet wet eventually. All right. So sorry, the hands are a little cold. But, all right. We need water treatment for our animals, and I figured I could place that around. So we need uh, some water treatment here to cover that. And we need at least two water treatments here. But I have to make sure that this isn't being an eyesore. Because guests don't like it when I put water treatment facilities in places. And this is a... No, that's just some scenery. But this looks lovely. And... Ah, oh, there's some stuff in here as well. Okay, cool. Do I even get cold? I'm a man, aren't, I'm a, aren't I a man of the north? I wish. I keep telling people that I'm a bad Norwegian because I get cold very easily. I'm either a little too hot or a little too cold, uh, unfortunately. And so sometimes this room here can get a bit chilly. But I honestly don't mind. All right, let's see here. Let's put that about... That should overlap most of it, right? Water treatment. There we go. 
course, it needs power. So let's put a nice little wind turbine uh, right next to it. Let's see, where's the... Uh, And finally, let's put a path in there and use I guess that did not work. Uh, okay, let's then see if we can move this thing because this might need to be there we go that works and then hopefully this should not have a huge impact on things uh, negative impact on gas uh, should be okay but we do need let's see oh there's a lot we need to, to check in on let's see then how our staff is doing. So we got a couple of keepers, educators. Uh, we do need more of these caretakers, I say, because they are the ones that take care of stuff. All right. So let's do one caretaker and another caretaker. And let's do three caretakers and give them some work zones. My right hand is actually getting really cold. <laughs> Shout out to Emil who shouts Norge in chat, which is Norway in Norwegian. Let's see, work zone manager. We've got eight work zones. Okay. Manager on PFAL, mechanics east. Mechanics West, shops back. Oh God, there's a lot of stuff happening here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, unassigned staff. Um, let's pause it again. So you um, see what the other ones are. No work zone, Mechanics West, Mechanics East. Let's just do the same then, I think. And right now, put most of them in Mechanics West because the person in Mechanics West has a high workload. So we got that going. And let's also put another pause on this. And let's get some bins up in this place because people are not, people need to stop with the litter. Come on, people. All right, there's a bin there. Been there, done that. Sorry. Dutch Travel Dude, welcome to the stream. A Lest Gamer, welcome to the stream as well. Hope you're having a good day. And uh, A Lest Gamer saying, I am new. Well, if you're new, you are more than welcome to come in, hang out, enjoy yourself, uh, watch me play some Planet Zoo career mode. And uh, yeah, have a good time. And uh, if you want to ask me any questions about the game, feel free to do so. If you want to just uh, chat with other people, then you're more than welcome to do so as well. <laughs> That's a, <laughs> been there, done that. That's a top tier pun. It was right there. You know, been there. We, we put a bin there. It's, 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 yeah. <laughs> Had to be there. Had to do it. Had to do it to him. All right, let's uh, hopefully now, that should be enough bins so people can stop littering. Just be nice to the animals, please. Also, what sort of animals do I have here? I need a workshop, I need a research center. That is true. And I can get some reward animals, okay. Then let's get a workshop going. Facilities, work. Indian workshop, now. I need to hever, heverly, cleverly, that's what I was going to say, cleverly hide this somehow uh, so my poor guests don't get annoyed with its presence. 
I forget which guys play Planet Zoo. Is it only Jens or is there another guy? So there's me and uh, hi, I'm Jens. And then there is, oh, that's perfect for what I needed for. Wait, what is this? No empty. And there's, <laughs> look at that. That's so good. <laughs> that's so cool. I love that little detail. It's just, it's just like, yeah, they've just dumped a bunch of stuff here that they need to put somewhere. That's so great. Um, yeah, it is me, and then there is uh, Eltanen, who's also been uh, been playing on stream. Uh, Eltanen usually does something called Plan Elt Zoo, which is their community zoo that they uh, built together with you in chat, where they also uh, do some, some workshop builds and things like that. Where are my staff buildings in this place? Oh, here they are. Ah, oh, that's clever. That is so, so clever. I love that. Well, I need to put this somewhere. And hopefully pull. I don't it, it's, there's no there's no room. There's no it's I can't I can't put it anywhere. <laughs> can I can I put can I put it there? No? No? Okay. Can I, can I put it there? And I just Okay, no, that's not gonna. <laughs> Let's remove that. That's not gonna do anything. Ooh, maybe I can place it there. Hmm, guess not. But yeah, no. Uh, Altanen also uh, does their um, their uh, 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 Plan El Zoo stuff and uh, sometimes some other streams, but. Today, they're uh, feeling a bit under the weather, and so they asked me kindly to step in, and I said, of course, I will step in. Always to help out fellow community manager. Oh, wow. These are really well hidden. I wish I just didn't. Mm -hmm. All right, let's, I need to put this somewhere, and that's probably gonna mess up. See, this is what I agonize over whenever I play this game because this stuff is all so gorgeous. Look at all this stuff. Look how they built this. I, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. All right, I need to put this workshop somewhere. I need to actually get started on properly building this, uh, this here zoo. That's going to go to some uh, some exhibits out there, maybe. Oh, there's more stuff I can build out here as well. Ooh. All right. Um, how's career mode going? I like this map. It's going... I mean, I just started on this map here, so it's, I think it's going pretty well. Uh, I just need to actually put some, some things in here. I feel a bit bad, though, just sort of placing this in there. There we go. So now I have a workshop. Great. That's fine. And there's high amounts of litter. We're working on it. And I need a research center. All right. Uh, let's go to facilities again. Research. Indian Research Center. Small. <laughs> yeah, sure, Jan. <laughs> uh, oh, but there's a... Yes! Okay, I can place it there. Can I place this there? Only this. That's fine. And then I probably have to uh, add stuff later to it, right? So, let's see. Construction. I mean, I can spend most of the stream just <laughs> doing this, if I'm honest. Oh, not walls. Wall. Ah. Excuse me. Um... Yeah, Indian wall, mud panel wall. Oh, that's a bit small, but uh, let's see here. There we go, four meter wall. All right, and then we need a, we need a door frame, sandstone wall arch. That looks good. And let's just do them all in this, this version, I think. 
All right, you go of A. And then we need to add Killer Nightmare. Welcome to the Frontier Fam. Thank you for joining us. And let's put Come on, this way. This way. Ah, oh, there's the sandstone wall. A uh, doy. Hold on. All right, you can be removed. Sandstone wall. No, that's a panel. Sorry, guys, for all the clicking around that I'm doing. I'm just trying to get my bearings again. There we are. Sandstone wall arch. There we are. And then... Oh. There. And... Is it this one? No, it's not that one, is it? No. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just trying to find the one thing that I can attach to the side there. There we are, potentially. Or maybe I'll just keep it that way. Uh, let's see. see. <laughs> you click as many times as you need to. Roof. That's probably what I'm looking for. There we go. Uh, okay. Oof. Painted clay tile. There we go. Shift. That's what I was looking for. Nice little roof there. All right, we can get back to, to this thing now because I don't remember how this, car, how this whole thing. There we go. I'm back. Fixed it all on my own. Is Arthur in the building and has he touched anything? I don't think so. But I fixed it on my own, Adam. You couldn't hear it, but Adam laughed. Here I am. Welcome back. All right. What I was saying was, it probably looks a bit wonky, but I'm happy with it. As my second effort in building something nice looking in Planet Zoo, I'm happy with this. I feel very proud of myself, both for fixing the mic problem and for uh, fixing the, the thing. The, um, the, the, the thing there in the, the game. All right, what we need now is we need to put down some more water treatment. So what, where did I say this was perfect? This was perfect like here. 
right? Yes. Let's see here. Add to group something or other. There. Is that correct? Paths. I do not know what happened. I think I, my mic just kind of went, eh, don't, don't, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. All right. Boop. You. Uh, connected object, that's fine. Vector range, good. All right. Woo! Water cleanliness is almost back to, is almost where we want it to be. Oh, is this a shop shell? Potentially. Eh, it's just a, just a box. Okay. We can put our water treatment in there, maybe. Mike telling us to take the rest of the day off. Um, or, seeing as there's some stat paths here. Oh, I know. Let's see. Facilities. Water treatment. Uh, we can just put it here. I think. Uh, it's just, it's just, it's just never. You can just never find, find the power, can you? Oh, I see what your problem is there. Uh, all right, and then we put down the wind turbine and get a path going. There we go. Uh, paths and get this hooked up like that. That's fine. All right. That then. So habitat cleanliness. Well, this is getting taken care of. The food is not too good. Poor Krish. Uh, uh, uh. Let's call the keeper in. All right, so we got those there. There's high amounts of litter in this. Oof. Yep, that is a lot of litter. Come on, people. I put down bins. Let's hire another caretaker. I will specifically have you take care of these things. Thank you. Okay. And now, let's see. So, negative impact on guests. We want habitat, and we want... Habitat cleanliness. So that's green, which I think should be okay. Oh, this is not good. What's going on in here then? Is it just poop? Just lots of poop? I think so. Well, there was a keeper wanting walking around. Uh, let's get a... Ah, there we go. 90% cleanliness. Ding, ding, ding. And we need a shop profit, and we need to add some of our elephants in here. So, let's see. We do have some reward elephants. And I will double check my Zoopedia right now to see if they will get along with anyone. They should pretend... Oh, so, Malayan Tapir or the Proboscis Monkey. And I do believe I've got some tapirs. No, that's a bear's tapir. Do I have any other tapirs. Not in this one. Okay, cool. What animals do I have here, by the way? Uh, let's see. Bear tapir, tapirs. We got the gharial, the Indian peafowl, Indian rhinoceros, the mandrill, 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 pronghorn antelope, the springbok, and that is it. Okay. Hello, Stace Fizz. Welcome to this live stream. Hope you're doing well. Atamaru underscore M. Welcome to the stream. Uh, 
Let's get these animal. Let's get these. Let's get these elephant elephanties. Transfer to animal storage. And now we need to figure out where where to put them. Hmm. I mean, we can we can, we can put them with the rhinos. Is that gonna be okay? Are those are they not gonna like it? Um, let's see. Indian rhinoceros, interspecies Richmond with small cloth otter and wild water buffalo. Okay. I mean, I do have enough room somewhere. So that's a. Why not right here? I feel like that'll do. Right? Oh, there's one. There's there's one prepped here. I think. Empty habitat. Habitat is empty. And there's a barrier in target. All right. Let's go. Elephants. Found you a new spot. All right. Let's prep this for our elephants. Let's get some water up in here as well. Oh, that's a lot of water. Uh, let's take some of it out. Uh, up to there, maybe? Oh, there. That'll do. All right. So there's a path going up there. Can I get... Ooh, this is going to be a tricky one. So I need a staff path over there. Let's uh, increase the width. A little bit. Oh, there's a path over there too. Interesting. All oh, right, because that makes let's not see the gario. All right, cool. Sorry, I'm just getting my bearings. Just trying to figure out where I can put this. Uh, the staff path here. I think we can have it run all the way. <laughs> Your bearings, I thought you were getting elephants. Ha <laughs> ha! Very funny, even. Classic. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting my bearings and my elephants. So people can go up there and look at the elephants. I can probably put some um, education stuff there as well. I don't know if I can get people to come up here. Don't want to risk that. The joke was almost unbearable, but uh, sizable because elephants are big. I got nothing. Um, but I think... <sighs> Dark Matter BD. Welcome to the Frontier Fan. Hope you're doing well. Oh, is this supposed to be a shop, maybe? No, that's... Oh, I'm clearly supposed to put a, a keeper hut or something in there. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place today, but... Let's see. Keeper hut, quarantine... Veterinary surgery, keeper hut. Yeah! Ha ha! I did it! Great success. Cut off his own joke. He truncated it. God. <laughs> Eben's on fire today. Guys, gals, non binary pals, and aliens. Um, 
See, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm ruining the Yes, of course. There's a staff path right there that I can that I can use and I will be using it. Haha. -ha. Wait, can I just do Yes, I can. There we go. A stream with <laughs> with me, even and Altanen. I mean, the three of us—that would be chaotic and wonderful and uh, very fun at the same time. Okay, I'm going to try something that I rarely do, and it's probably not going to work, but let's try it anyway. And let's build like an overpass thing, like that. So that way, the keepers can walk over everything and the zoo guests can go under. Or maybe it should be the opposite way. <coughs> Off by one. Welcome to the stream. Jamster Zero, thank you for following us over on the uh, over on Twitch. And for, uh, thank you for following us to Julie Marchal, to Polskiv, and that's it. Because I missed a few earlier. Um, let's try this. Because there's, I mean, you're a fence, right? You're a barrier section. So I can build a thing here, too, that people can see. At some point. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But someday. But for now... I deleted that fence. That wasn't supposed to happen. For now, I'm going to take this away and let's get these elephants in here elephantus and in our atom storage let's get our elephants and get them in there hello koopa 90 how goes the dusty desert build it goes well i think i don't count for your listed what that's fine <laughs> call one fanturangin you know what? Yeah. In honor of you, Emil, I will do that. For those of you not in the know, uh, Fanturangin, or the Fanturang, is a uh, children's TV show character from Norway, and it's a elephant. I should also call one Fantus, I think, because that's also a character on Fanturang. Let's unpause the game so we can actually have things happening. Okay. Hi, a Litter. Yes, we're working on it. Still... Okay. What is this doing there? Why is... What? Why is there... Dominic, what did you... What? Why, why have you... Dominic... Why you do this, Dominic? <laughs> My dude. <laughs> hey, you. Uh, please take care of this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Let's... Uh, is it this one? Yeah. Ooh, look at that. How pretty. Love to see it. I mean, this is the stuff that I really enjoy. I mean, I love all of this. I love all of this game, but filling in these little gaps here and there just gives me a really nice little, little kick. Darfin, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. Let's check a look at our objectives. Uh, right, that shop profit. We really need to do that, don't we? Um, income. Ah, shop income. Still going okay. So I think we just need more shops. Potentially. How's our elephants doing? Let's see here. Well, of course they need shelter. So I don't think... I don't know how far I will get in this particular live stream. Uh, I'm hopeful that I'll get to bronze, maybe halfway-ish to silver, but we'll see, because like, I have 90 minutes and I need to spend my time uh, both playing and talking to you and all that stuff. 
But uh, we should be, hopefully, okay. So they need shelter. Of course you need shelter. That should be under habitat. Uh, EA Perkins, I did a bunch of gift shops and drink shops for this. Also, first stream here. Welcome, EA Perkins, to the live streams. Thank you for joining us over on the YouTubes. Oh, and we got an achievement. An elephant never forgets. Thank you, Steam. Um, so they need heart shelter. Ah, oh, it immediately goes to swim. That's amazing. I didn't actually uh, know that they needed a navigable swimming area, but uh, all right, let's uh, let's get this hard shelter here. Like that. Um, right around here-ish. Yeah, that works. That did not do much for him. Eight by eight. If you want more tips, I got gold on this level. I mean, any any tips you can give me, sure, will be helpful. This is the first time I'm tackling this particular um, this particular level right here. I think maybe I'll need something like that instead. So let's remove this. Get this out of the way. That's a bit too big. That's we're not <laughs> we're not building this. <laughs> Zelops, welcome to the to the Frontier Fam. Thank you so much for joining us over on Twitch. We'd love to see it. Uh, you can have co cohabitate the Galapagos tortoise and Indian peafowl and Gariel with the Indian elephants to save space. That is a good suggestion, actually. All right, we've got 37% hard shelter. So let's uh, put in some more of these. Let's stack them next to each other. There we go, 67%. Almost. Let's again do a smaller one right around here somewhere, maybe. That should be okay. Oh, it's kind of floating. There we go. El Gato, thank you for joining us on the live stream on Twitch. Uh, which ones are diseased? Oh, it's because of the because the habitat's dirty. Maybe? No, they're clean now. That's good. That's nice. But yeah, let's uh, let's call vet urgently. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, you're doing your job. Great, keep on cleaning. It's been a power cut. Okay, where? Oh God. I see why this is called power struggles now. Is that you? You're operational. So this is just gonna, okay, this is just gonna be without power. Cool. I think I know what the challenge of this level is. Oh yeah, it's this one. Okay. Well, I, I guess we just keep going. Even though there's been a power cut. Hopefully that should resolve itself at some point. You need food. You don't have food. That's what you need. Uh, uh, uh. Well, you've got... Enough plants, you got enough coverage, you don't have food. Habitat. Let's filter by species. Scrolly, 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 scrolly. Indian elephant. And make sure to turn, <laughs> turn that off. Let's get you a large water trough up in here. Let's get you a large water bowl. And Nice, large food trough there and there. And I also like to give my... Do you give your animals bedding in the uh, shelters? I like to give my animals some, some bedding. Oh, excuse me. Mm. A bit cold in this room, so I'm getting a bit of a runny nose. I like to give my animals some bedding. Mostly just to sort of show them that I care about them and I want them to have a nice little 
comfy place to relax with some leaves. Like this. There we go. That's nice. Any enrichment items? Oh yeah, plenty. Um, let's do a hang barrel. A sk skittle. Let's do a sprinkler. Why not? Nice water pool. And this barrel feeder as well. That should give them a beaver pool. I don't think that's for the elephants. Large snowball, maybe? That's probably more of a play thing than something else. And then, yeah, all this other stuff is locked because it is for other things. All right, cool. Our Indian Arrowsroes is expecting offspring. So is our Mandrel. And these are still incubating some diseases. But that's all right. As long as it doesn't spread, it should be fine. If the pool is clean water, they should be able to drink from it. Safe to keep for some time. That is a good shout. I think this pool is just outside of the thing's range, if I'm being honest. Yeah, just outside of it. So that's why I put the actual, the other thing in it. But mm, we might actually be able to put down some water treatment. Ah, but if I wanted to use this for later, see here negative impact on guests but is it where they're actually moving no then I am fine with it good enough for me Turn this overlay off because I'm sure a lot of people are annoyed right now. <laughs> All right. I know I forgot to call one Fantorang and we're getting to it. All right. Uh, there should be some juveniles here, I think. 22 years old. Let's pause it again. Let's check out our animals here. So let's see, that's the one male. No, they're all adults. Okay. You shall be Panturangen and you shall be Fantas. Great success. All right, how is... Oh, yearly shop profit. We're not at the end of the year just yet. Yeah, shop income doing well, but we still haven't reached the end of the year. We're still in year one. Oh my god, would you look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. That looks amazing. Cheers. Mm. Oh my god, that looks so good. I didn't know that that was what this zoo would look like. That looks incredible. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, is there anything in here? Oh, that's from mandrills. Are there actual mandrills in there? No. Well, I think that's perfect then to get some, put some mandrills in there. Let's check. No, there are mandrills in there. I didn't just didn't see them. Let, let maybe let's get some more mandrills. There we go. Species report nine mandrills. But yeah, that is. Look at that. That's amazing. That looks so good. I mean, I understand it's, it's definitely giving off the, um, the whole casino, casino vibes that they talked about initially, but man, that is so cool. All right, let's do some, we need to do some veterinarian research here. I'm going to hire another vet. Um, 
of that. Plunk them down right there. All right, uh, you, Brian, let's get you on this research right here. And oh, there's a lot of a lot of diseases we can get on this here. And keep you there. Yeah, as Heather says, that's why I love this so much and the design. It looks absolutely incredible, I gotta say. Just so, so good. Oh, that's also for the mandrills. All right. See, part of me doesn't want to mess too much with some of these uh, exhibits here. Uh, exhibits, sorry. Habitats. I keep getting my games confused with these habitats because they all look absolutely incredible. Oh, that's clever. That is so clever. All right, so what I just discovered is that whoever designed this level hid the staff room in here, like inside this building. That's so good. Okay, but I can put a, I can maybe make a, ooh, yeah, oh, here we go. I can do something down here with exhibits, probably. And all of this can be made into, uh, oh, the, the mind reels. Because, like, that just goes there, and then that's null. And the null just sort of continues. Oh, yeah. Amazing. All right. Let's see here. Uh, zoo overview. Habitats. Let's see if we have any empty ones. Um, ah, there's one empty one. Well, it's not. It's not empty anymore. This is where the elephants live. <laughs> All right, good enough. And then one doot over here, which is, oh, okay. That's a small one. Well, let's see what we can put down in there. So let's go to animal trading. And let's go to the species market. So, uh, Bengal tigers, those are very expensive. We can do our warthogs, we can do black bears. There's the giant tortoise, but we don't have enough conservation credits. We can do another gharial. Do some more gems box, some more peafowl, rhinos, um, pronghorns. Ooh, a reticulated giraffe. Welcome, elephant puppet, to the live stream. Hope you're doing well. Sorry I'm late, I just did finish my art class. Cool. What did you get up to in art class? Did you draw something cool? Did you paint something? What sort of, what sort of art were you doing in art class? Please chime in. I put capuchins in there. Ooh, capuchins, nice. Well, there's lemurs. There's one lemur. <laughs> um, all right, well, we can do the Galap well, we can't do the Galapagos because it's too expensive. I can't buy another Garial for almost all of my conservation credits. Um, mm -hmm. This is a tricky one. Because I, I would like another lemur. If I I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna just adopt one lemur. You know? Well, there's plenty to do exhibit wise. And. Ah, oh, that's cool with the. Alright, what I think I'm gonna do. This is probably gonna mess up things, but we're gonna we're gonna try something here. So I need to find. Excuse me, folks, while I look a bit too closely at the screen. Uh, is it? No, it's not that one. 
while I try to find the correct path. Nope, that's not it. some stuff there and I'm gonna build I'm gonna build a animal exhibit maybe a small ex oh that's bigger than I thought it would be <laughs> all right let's not do that let's just do we can do walkthroughs walkthrough exhibits here as well I guess this can't be placed here Oh yeah, there we go. Just on the wrong level. All right, that's one big thing there. I'm not gonna move that. Um, these are some boxes. Um, all right, let's try again. Put that one there. We just remove that path. And then uh, let's get an exhibit animal. Why not? Why do we think in bow constrictor? That was too ex that's too expensive. That's not too expensive. We've got ooh, poison frogs. Let's do some uh, let's do some poison frogs. Adopt. Go to the trade center. Sent to the zoo. There we are. And let's see here. If I can. All right, let's see. More humid, please. Oh, that's a bit too much. Let's scale it down a bit. Because they're. It doesn't quite work. Get it? Because they're amphibious, but they don't have scales, so it doesn't really work. Uh, let's do. 2D facade, 2D facade, and a 2D facade. Maintenance. Oh, I should add them to. A work zone at some point. Let's click manage population. Uh, and so maximum males, yes. Processing, release to wild. And maximum females, yep. And we will release them to the wild. There we go. Tarantula. No, I will not mess with the tarantulas. Mainly because I am very, well, fairly arachnophobic. And so I don't do that. Oh, another diseased animal. Oh, no. Is this, is, is this dirty as well? Oh, yes. Um, please, please come and clean up. Habitat's a health risk. Habitat's a health risk. Uh, oh, all of these are not... Q fever. All right. Well, let's see if we can get that researched. Uh, active disease, Q fever. Let's get you back on there. I use anything but snakes and spiders. Snakes I don't really mind, I think. I just haven't met a snake in real life yet, you know? Uh, we've got some mandrill babies on the way. Let's see, those are, yep, 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 yep. Ah, uh, we're so close to that prof, to that shop profit. Shop, shop it, shop it. Nah, it's not a thing. Let's do some shops here. That should be guest facilities. Ooh, perfect to take a look at our heat map. Um, guest needs, guest hunger. Where's our hunger the greatest? So there's some hungry guests here. Fair bit of hungry guests over here. What about thirst? 
Oh yeah, very, ooh. Mm. So, we need a lot of guests. We need a lot of drink stations, drink places. Places where they can buy drinks. I think we're gonna focus on that first and foremost. Um, could also do some vending machines. That's a slush counter, that's a soda counter. And let's do a drink shop. Moya91, thank you for joining the Frontier fam. Um, uh, yeah. Let's get some of these uh, drink places down. And I guess I have to decorate them myself. <laughs> okay. So I know they... Hmm. Getting an indicator that they want me to lead guests up here as well, which I would love to do, but I'm not sure of how. Ooh, the vending machine, gulpy vending machines around here. Absolutely. Are those, they look like drinking fountains. Um, put one there, get one there. Probably not gonna cause um, massive amounts of people crowding in one area, absolutely not. It'll be fine, like I always say. Pip shot. Hmm. I think that's a reference to a certain someone. Cosmic cow milk for those who like to drink milkshakes. And I'm sure milkshakes in this heat of this level is not going to be an issue for people. Um, let's put another gulpy soda there. This I'm going to turn into a habitat of some kind. How? Who knows? I did remember to name an elephant uh, the name you wanted it to have. Maybe this is where I was supposed to add that research thing. Wow, look at this all the way out here. Diseased animal discovered, another one. Yeah, Q fever. Q fever is still the thing. Probably need to hire a lot more keepers. All right, let's get this heat map up and running again. Still a lot of thirsty guests. <laughs> oh God, everyone's running to the new gulpy. This needed to be further away, I think. So, sorry, pe sorry people. Uh, there we go. And I'm actually going to put another one in. Dom, my dude. Uh, there's been a power cut. Where? Oh, God. <laughs> That's a lot of power. I was not in its ideal humidity range. I thought I did this. Oh yeah, it's because it lost power. Naturally, that means that it all dropped down. Hmm. Let's check out our elephants. How are they doing? Yep, there's Fanturangen. Oh, that's a lot of manure. <sighs> oh, let's check my work zones. Staff, work zones. Um, let's add this to mechanics. West. There we go. Uh, shops back. No, that's not the one it is. Tip here in Antelope. Shops back. Garrel and Rhino. Let's add them to Garyl and Rhino, shall we? There we go. All right, cool. That's a lot of poop in, inside that ex, inside that habitat. That's no good. But how are we doing on profits? All right, we need more shops. More shops. 
so so people can people can shop. Yeah, they're not that hungry, but they are very, very thirsty people. Okay. All right, so we've got stuff there. Shop down here. And there, probably. They're going to look a bit out of place, but... I will fix it somehow. Can I just copy? No. It's going to look a bit out of place, but uh, it'll be fine. Got to be a lot of crowding over here, I think. Oh, that's gorgeous. I wish I could turn that into some kind of habitat thing. Maybe I can. Yep, elephants. Habitat cleanliness is a disease risk. Ooh, how are you pooping so much? Let's hire some more keepers. All right, there's one on the way. Cool. Okay, let's see here. Diseased animal. Who's who's sick now? Oh no, Fanturangen. Can't be back to the, the whatever. I don't know how to pronounce these diseases. All right, did we do it now? I think so. No, they're still going. Well, I'm sorry, but you might need to just be sick for a little while. Um, let's get you to quarantine. So pause? No, we're still going. Cool. How are we doing on those shop profits? Still not. Oh, but of course it needs to refresh. Let's see. Guest needs. Thirst. Stomperator, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a, lo Hope you're having a lovely day today. Um, I think we just need to do more. Drinks. Oh, right now I'm oh, lacking in a bit of. Let's do a vending machine here and here. And let's do one here and here. And there's no staff room in this area, which there definitely should be. But I need to get more money because right now I am bleeding cash. Yeah, <laughs> construction costs. Hmm. Eh, interesting. Maxime, welcome to the live stream. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Tell me about your weekend. Was it a good weekend? Oh, so much litter. Why are you littering all the time? People, help, please. Don't be like this. Uh, when do I think the Elite Dangerous drops will be on? Well, they're usually on when the Elite Dangerous folk play Elite Dangerous, which is every other Thursday. And this week is an off week, so next Thursday, I believe, they will be on. All right, we have six caretakers. I guess we need more. You need to be sent there. Let's hire another caretaker. Set them to Cadix East, I think. <laughs> Thank you for coming, Eben. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And uh, I'll see you around on another live stream. All right, so we're in year two in August. 
Still waiting for that shop profit to go up. There's been another power cut. But look at that gorgeous view, though. Ah, oh, no. Another one right here. Poor hot dog squad. Ah, there we go. Power's back. Power has been restored. Thank you, whoever did that. But of course we have some more diseased animals. And I'm feeling pretty sorry for them. Um, let's go to habitat. Habitat cleanliness. So much poop. Why are you pooping so much? All right. Uh, how's my vet research going? Yay! Research complete on Q fever. Wonderful. Let's do Campylobacteriosis. What animal do you like the most? I really like the red panda because they're very they're kind of kind of derpy animals but i like them anyway they look a little look a bit like cats forbidden cats kind of thing that's what i like that's what i like about them um oh we can do one two galapagos giant tortoises let's adopt this one and adopt this one because because i want them in my zoo uh, all these gharials i think i just have the one gharial right zoo animals yes we need more cats for krish to hang out with tickets are underpriced well if you want to pay more you may pay some more dollar reduce to come into my zoo you're more than welcome unfortunately there is no red panda emoji uh, i wish but uh, at some point maybe someone will make one let's see animal trading on garials I think the only ones left are for conservation credits, which I don't currently have a lot of. Um, ooh, I can do an island monitor at some point. Called Shabana. It's a good name. Ring tailed lemur, springbok. All right, well, we got these two. Could use a male, but it's fine. Ooh, someone did say earlier. Um, doo -doo -doo. Sorry, I'm just scrolling through chat. <laughs> Galapa. There we go. Cohabitate the Galapagos tortoise and Indian peafowl and gharial. Um, that's the rhinoceros. Where's the peafowl habitat? That's the empty habitat. That's the Baird's taper. Mm. There's the PFA. There's no water in here, though. But there can be. No, wait, there's water right there. Also, the tortoises, they don't need to eat. No, they don't need to swim. There we go. See if maybe we can. <coughs> Justin 007 rules. I'm sure you do. Welcome, Justin. All right, let's check out the peafowl. And if this doesn't work out, we can always just move the. Galapagos turtles at any other time. How are we doing on those goals? Ah, oh, so close. So I need to increase guest happiness later, build a habitat around the Bengal temple. All right, so here. Captured all escape. Mm, don't like this. But it looks like most of the, um, most of the poop and things have been taken care of. That's great. Giant tortoise has arrived in the zoo. So, ooh, it's just about on the, the navigable land thing. But uh, let's get you some more long grass. There we go. Perfect. Hopefully that doesn't mess up the peafowl too much. Nope. All good. 
Fantastic. We love to see it. So yeah, I guess you're just going to hang out. And can I duplicate you? Yes, I can, but that's just the screen there. So let's... Right, that's the thing I need to make sure of as well. Uh, da -da, media devices, Habitat Education Board set. You there. Giant tortoise. Also, I need to put some of these over here for our, our elephants so people can learn something while they, while they watch them. There we go. Done. Indian elephant. There you go. Cool. And there's some mating going on. Good for the elephants. Still high amounts of litter. That's great. Why won't you? <clears throat> Come on, guests. Be nice. Be nice to my zoo. Everyone has to be nice to me. To quote a dear friend. Hello, Waze. How's it going? Welcome to the live stream. Hope you're doing well, wherever you are in the world. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you haven't done so already, please give us a follow over on Twitch or on YouTube, wherever you're watching us. It will all help us out and spread the word of the live streams. All right, I think, I think we've got the zoo in a good space now. There's still litter, li 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 li. still some litter, still some animals, you know, doing their business. But, oh, should all hopefully be okay now. Earning a profit, steady profit. Slowly building up those conservation credits as well. And we got the bronze star. Woohoo! Come on, Dominic. Come on, Myers. Give me some credit, okay? Got to spend money to make money. Scenario unlocked. That's the next one. Items unlocked. Reward statue, Indian rhinoceros, and reward statue, Baird's tapir in stone. Wonderful. So... Build a habitat around the Bengal temple. How's one Bengal, ha Bengal tiger in the habitat? Oh, capture all to escaped animals for 12 months. Well, I could just do that, can't I? What is this? What sort of barrier is this? Ooh, I like that. That's cool. That's really good. I wish I could just copy that. Let's... <clears throat> Chain link, electric. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, Bengal tiger. And I'm very happy to have reached that star. I need 500 conservation credits, which I don't have. Um, all right, let's just check Zoopedia to see what I need for these. They need a fair bit of land, okay. Mm -hmm. Grade 3 climb proof over 3 meters. Grade 3 climb proof. Electric <laughs> power, eh? Hmm, interesting. Grade five, not climbable. Grade three, climbable. That's glass, not climbable. It should be one-way glass. I think we go with brick. Just to begin with. All right. So let's 
also give us an angle snap. Mainly so I can keep things nope, on the straight and narrow. Doop. Doop. Buddy. Buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. There we go. It's not the prettiest, but uh, it'll do. And it needs to be more than three meters, which it currently is. Can lower it a little bit, increase it a little bit. <laughs> and let's see. I can put in glass windows. But let's not do that because that could upset the tigers. Um, Oh, it's Zebra Day. Happy Zebra Day, says Wild Strike. Happy Zebra Day. All right. So what else do we need? We need to put in some sort of keeper door. How did this other one solve for that? Ah, there. Okay. Oh, we can just have it behind here. That's perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Habitat at gate eight. You're going to go on this end. What's your favorite out of three main species? Not sure what you mean, because there's more than three main species. There's a lot of species in this game, actually. Um, I mean, these can probably be lowered a little bit. No, I don't want to look there. Shelter 86, thank you for joining us over on Twitch. Welcome to the Frontier Fam. There we go. Oh, I was referencing zebras. Right. <laughs> Main species of zebra. Or zebra, depending on your accent. Well, very easy. I like the plain zebra. That's what we have in the game. Uh, how long are we streaming? That I was actually going to get to that because we need a lot of conservation credits for these Bengal tigers. And it's going to take a while to, to, to get back to that. And my finances just took a hit because I... Ooh, staff wages is... Um, oh, no, I'm good. Cash flow is doing okay. Uh, it's going to take me a while to get up to those conservation credits. So, um, I think for now that I'm going to leave the stream there, actually. I'll go back to, here we go. And I'm just going to click a button to finish up this vet research. And pause it. Thank you, Sneevis, for joining us. Welcome to the Frontier Fam. And... Do, 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 do. Where is my... All right. Uh, career mode. I'm going to save it there. And I think that's going to do it for this week uh, with uh, Planet Zoo. So what have we done today? We have continued our career mode playthrough. We are now in Myers Animal Entertainment Park in the level called Power Struggle. I understand fully why it's called Power Struggle right about now. But we have achieved a bronze star. We are heading for a silver star as well. We just need that Bengal tiger. So fingers crossed that we get a Bengal tiger that uh, doesn't cost conservation credits, but costs money instead. Uh, but uh, that's going to be it for me for today. Don't forget to follow Planet Zoo on all the socials at Planet Zoo Game. And uh, if you haven't picked up Planet Zoo yet, then go ahead and do so over on Steam. Or just you can just search for Planet Zoo and it'll pop up right then and there. Uh, we'll be back in two weeks for another Planet Zoo live stream at 5 p.m. GMT. Same Planet Zoo channel, same Planet Zoo time as always. And uh, is it going to be me? Is it going to be Altanen back? Let's see. We don't know. But uh, thank you so much for joining us, uh, joining me, everyone. This has been a lot of fun. And I uh, hope we'll see you all again. 
bye bye.